against your heart The enemy came up against your children The enemy came up against your name The enemy came up against your character Good evening everyone! Welcome to another episode of Church Girls Unfiltered Today we are joined by Mama Johnson. Hey. She's going to be our special guest on this evening. And we just wanted to come to you, you know, just with a quick video honoring our fathers on today. Also, Melissa, we, I would just like you guys to just keep Melissa in prayer. She's a little under the weather. And let's just pray that she has a speedy recovery and she will be joining us for the next episode of Church Girls Unfiltered. So on today, I just want to wish all the fathers, the stepping fathers, just everyone, all the men, a happy Father's Day on today. And today is a day of honor, you know, for fathers. So the definition of honor is high respect, great esteem, adherence to what is right or to a conventional standard of conduct. So first, I want to start with, you know, when I was younger and, you know, I didn't know what honor was. So I was very disrespectful to my parents and disrespectful to my father. I didn't know how to honor them. And, you know, I was just too busy doing what I wanted to do. And, you know, I had no respect. And, you know, all my father wanted to do was just teach me. You know how to love properly how to you know be a woman how to be uh you know a wife and just succeed in life and so when father's day would come around i really didn't want to get him anything because i felt like you know he owed me something and i'm the child and i felt like why should i get him anything and you know you get little tips or you know when you're younger you think you know everything and you know so i didn't you know i didn't know how to honor my father so I did not respect him. So with that being said, you know, the Bible says, honor thy mother and thy father and thy days will be longer. And, you know, even though I grew up in church and my, ter my parents, they taught me right, you know, I'm just thinking I'm still, you know, being disobedient, being just disrespectful, talking back and, you know, doing what I wanted to do. And I, you know, I know that it did hurt my father. So, you know, when I gave my life to God, I had to end up going back to apologize. Because I had to apologize just for not being the daughter that God created me to be, you know, to my parents. So we're, I'm going to turn it over to Mama Johnson and she's just going to talk about the different things with honor and the things that come with honor. And we're going to turn it over to you. So, you know, first of all, I just want to, you know, thank God for every father out there today. Amen. And, um, the time that we are taking to just celebrate fathers. And, you know, it's a beautiful thing. You know, I know that some, you may have your fathers with you still living, and there are some that if your father is not present with you today. And so we just want you to know that even if your father, if you're disconnected from your father in any kind of way, that God is there, yes. our heavenly father. For you and you know when you go through things in life that you have a need of a father for you know God is there you can cry to him you can talk to him mm -hmm. he is very invested in your life mm -hmm. he is there to help you through that's what what our right. fathers do mm -hmm. our fathers are there because they love us so much and they want to help us to get to where we need to be in life so we thank God today for fathers, even if you're a father, you, you had to step in for someone else, and we know that happens many times. We thank God for you. Mm -hmm. Fathers are the ones that the children look to, and they shape them, and they're that example mm -hmm. to the children. And many times, you know, even with my children, they had to learn to appreciate their fathers. Yeah. Sometimes. You know, fathers may be a little discouraged because maybe the children aren't appreciating you. But I want you to know, if you have a father, appreciate who God has given you, the father he has given you. And fathers are really a blessing 
from yeah. the Lord. It's a blessing to be a father and into uh, a kingdom father, especially. Mm -hmm. It's a blessing to be able and know that you are an influencer. Father, you are an influence. You influence your children's lives in so many ways. Mm -hmm. So I encourage you today to use your influence in a positive way, yes. a way that would be productive in your children's mm -hmm. lives. And you know, children, you have to learn sometimes when you don't really under, fully understand love and, and that level of maturity has not been developed in your life just yet. You really sometimes don't know how to fully appreciate the father, right, right, right. you know, that God has given you. But through time, you will learn yes. and you know, Honor comes out of love and, and respecting. Yeah, you may not agree with everything as right. my children did. You may right. not agree with everything that maybe your father says to you, and you might not even understand right. many times, but you still owe them respect. Mm -hmm. Respect. And so I just want to say, fathers, be encouraged on today. Children, just bless your fathers with love. Bless them, be grateful for your fathers, and just do all that you can to honor your father. And just, you know, the little things that you do, giving them a nice card, and or just, you know, whatever you can do for your fathers just to show them, hey, Dad, I love you, I respect you, Dad, I appreciate you, mm -hmm. you know, whatever you can do, do it in, in, on this day that has been set aside to honor your fathers. So right now, I just want to pray for the fathers. I want to pray for you fathers Amen. that, you know, God will continue to strengthen you. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, God, we just look to you, God. Lord, we lift up every father yes, to God. you. God, we just lift them up one by one, name by name. God, you know all about them. You know where they're yes, at, God, God, in their lives, Lord. And God, I pray, Father, that you will bless every father father to come into the place that you would have them to walk as a father God that you would just bless them Lord to understand the importance of their role in their children's lives Father, that you would just lift them up, Father. You would encourage every father on today. Lord, fathers that are even out there on today, and they may be, be somehow, God, just in a place of grief, Father. But, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would just shower them with your love on today, Lord. That you would bring them, God, and, and nourish them and nurture them, Father. So, Father, we just pray, God, for the spirit of reconciliation. Yes, God. God, that the fathers will be drawn to the sons and the sons will be drawn to the fathers. God, that their influence, God, that you have given the fathers, Lord, that it will be strong in the lives of their children. And God, that they will learn to use their influence, God, to help the children to be who you have called them to be. Yes, that will just set a foundation, oh God, in their lives, that they will be able to build, God, uh, a strong foundation, Father, in the name of Jesus, as they build upon that foundation, God, Lord, that they will be able to be all that you have called them to be. So, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, God, that the Spirit of God will rest upon the fathers. God, those that have or even stepping in, Father, that they would do all and have an ear to hear your voice, God to hear what you're saying to them, Father, in the name of Jesus, that they would stand up, oh God, and be the fathers that you have called them to be, and that they will lack in no area, Father. So God, we pray, Lord, that you would change, there will be a turnaround in the lives of the fathers, God, in the name of Jesus. So God, draw the children back to the Father, yes. in the name of Jesus. God, that this might be a glorious time. God, that this would be a day of celebration and for some a day of reconciliation yes. in the name of Jesus. So God, let your spirit and your power, the power of God, rest upon the lives of every father. That your will would be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. So we want to thank Mama Johnson just for her words of wisdom and that powerful prayer. And we want to thank God in advance for reconciliation. Yes. And um, I also just wanted to say just a little bit more just about, you know, whenever I got older and how, 
you know how it was just so important for me for me for God to show me how to love myself so that I was able to honor my parents and able to honor my father the proper way the right way so I just want to thank everyone for tuning in on today. I want to thank my mother again for helping on today. And I also just want to ask you guys, me and Melissa, we would like you to comment under the video, whatever you would like to hear, any topics, just throw out any ideas. We want to hear from you. So let us know what you guys would like to hear, what you want us to discuss, any ideas that you have. Don't forget to follow on Facebook, follow on Facebook like and subscribe thank you so much for tuning in to church girls unfiltered have a great evening and happy father's day again happy father's day